So, Zoom and any kind of presentation. You're in your class, you're in your meeting, you're crushing it, you're getting ready to drop some content on some people, and then you hit that full screen and things get a little kooky and you lose access to other aspects, some windows, some tabs, your browser. Today I'll show you a couple quick uh, tricks and a hack which will uh, make any sort of full screen presentation in regards of whatever program you're using much, much easier. So before you even think about any kind of hack or anything, which will facilitate the process is just making sure you're using your shortcut for screen share and zoom. On your Mac, it's command shift plus S. And in your PC, it's alt shift plus S. And in your Mac, command shift T will pause. And then you can go back and hit it again. It goes to share. To end sharing in either of these, it should be your same function, Command, Shift, S, and your Mac will stop sharing. So I'll pop in in that quickly all the time with my kids. So one little trick, depending on what you're showing, and this might work with a presentation. I'll show you something in a second here. Um, you can isolate a tab. So I have this video here. I'm gonna, when I say isolate, what I mean is I'm going to pull it out of the window, and it's going to be one window and one tab. So when I come back to my zoom over here, I'll do my shortcut and I want to pick that, that single solitary window slash tab business. Now what you'll see around this is there is, let me lower this, there is a green outline which lets me know that is exactly what's being shared. I can change the size of my actual window of this tab like so, and you'll notice that that green business is following it. So I can come over here, and now, granted, they're gonna see this browser bit at the top and your bookmarks and whatnot, but I can play this, and it's just gonna show that. Anything over here, be it um, some other documentation, a note, I can have my kids over here. They can look something like this over here on the side. Um, they're only going to see what's being portrayed or, or exposed or what have you in that little green box. So isolate that single tab, select that and screen share. It's only going to show what's in that and you can make that as small or as big as you want and use the space around, right? So if you're working with a presentation like I am with this one over here, if I try to make this guy smaller, it's going to get weird because I have this sort of working space and I have uh, my content on the left. I got, you know, speaker notes at the bottom. If there's no GDPR content with this, a lovely little trick is just to go to file, publish to the web right down here. I always go with this one minute and then just click your publish button which I've already done. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Because it's not GDPR, no issues. I just copy that and I always paste mine down here in the speaker notes. So that way, um, I've already done it. Not sure what happened there. Um, it looks like this. I've already done it and that's what we're looking at before. So that way, if I need to modify this later and then I'm going to show it to kids in class, I can just click on my link right there because this is what I'm going to show them. So if I open this up in its own window, and I can make this relatively small, it will follow that all the way down to pretty small. And then I go to my zoom, command S, shift. I'm going to pick this tiny little bit right there, but the kids are going to see the same resolution. They don't know that it's only, you know, one 15th of your entire screen. So you'll see that there's a green box around this. I can go through my presentation. I can use my up and down keys over in the bottom right. So this was our first slide, second slide. I know what's coming up. I don't see the need to see the speaker notes. But the point is I can keep those open over here. That sort of thing. Um, now you'll notice the green box goes away. If I need to check anything else out, like I'm doing attendance or whatever, they're looking at this, like that's the prompt or the warm up, what have you. They're not seeing this because th this will still stay on that tab. I can go to another program. I can do all sorts of stuff because it's locked in on that. So I'll stop sharing on that one. Come back to this. So 
publish that Google slide presentation and then the only thing you're going to see is the physical what is essentially full screen presentation make that as small as you want now if you are presenting from an application which is desktop client like it's keynote or PowerPoint you're not publishing this thing and you go to full screen same thing it gets nutty so there is an option when you go to your share screening zoom so I'll do my command shift s I'm going to pick on this advanced function now this portion of the screen I always tick on this um, depending on what I'm showing but if you didn't know that little share computer sound will give your kids on the other end of zoom the exact same audio quality that you're hearing so you don't hear that coming out coming in kind of fishbowl weirdness so that'll give them clarity with audio if there's some audio in that I click on this portion of the screen and I can move this to wherever I want now I have open a keynote presentation over here one thing you probably want to do with this is get rid of all the other formatting things you can get rid of right so I'm just gonna stop sharing real quick on this so for example I can go to the top of my keynote and you don't see this here but trust me it's there I can go to view and I can get rid of the navigator and I can uh, make this stuff probably go away I know I can there's an option I forgot how to do it but it's there if I click on this guy over here I can um, make this go away as well I'm gonna make them smaller and I'm gonna pin that one in and I'm pretty sure with my view maybe side only there it is side only now I can shove that up here and I come back to my zoom I go share portion of the screen share and now I can rearrange this drag and drop this green box to fill this and now it's only going to show my keynote presentation and I can go through this the same way I can with any other presentation and go through the slides that way so it's only going to show that and if I want to toggle anywhere else um, right now it's showing that because it's underneath so it's not the same as the browser application because I have to do desktop so that's a disadvantage. I generally would suggest that if you're going to do this and you have some notes or anything else on the side, just make sure you pull these over here and you can do your little split screen or whatever. Some of you have some cool add-ons for that in Chrome. I just shove that over there. Then I can go back to my keynote and it's only going to show this. That being said, um, let me show you something super quick. In this share business, I can go to basic. I also have my dual monitor, right? So I can actually drag that share portion again. So if I do my portion of the screen, I can drag this all the way over to my secondary monitor. You don't see it, but trust me, it's there. And I can leave all that stuff over there nice and neat as well. So sometimes um, dragging that thing over and making it fit can be a little bit cumbersome. And some of you like to be a little more seamless with your lesson. If you leave this little green box in a certain place and you stop sharing and you close a meeting and you go back to your next meeting and you hit share screen portion again, it's going to be in the exact same spot. So you can click on video from the beginning of your actual before you even in a meeting. If you want, you can actually just click on that, start a new meeting. No one's going to be in it. Set your little box up and close it before class starts, you know, a couple minutes. So that way when you start class and you go to share screen, you've already got your PowerPoint or your keynote exactly where you want it. And then when you hit share portion, it's already perfectly lined up. A little hack with that is something like this. Now I line this piece of paper up in my monitor, um, put it at the top outline more or less where it's going to be and I cut it so if I just shove this in the top of my monitor trust me it's there then I can drag any presentation into that take this piece of paper away leave that presentation and I know this is where my green zoom box permanently lives if you will all right so that's really it um, full screen I never do full screen um, I will 
make a full screen in a single tab and make it small and just show that. Or if I'm in some client base on my desktop like Keynote, I will just do that one little box and I can just scroll through my tabs on the side, or I should say different slides on the side, and they see the same presentation, but they're only seeing that one little bit. It doesn't mess with the actual um, quality of the presentation. It looks exactly as it should be if it was in proper full screen. And then you don't have stuff popping up all over the place nice and easy, especially with your kids over here and your participants over here and your actual chat, nice and organized.